Hello, YouTube. What's up? What's up? Coming to you in this very yucky time of the year. Flu season. It's winter. People are getting flus and chest congestions and nasal congestions. And listen, I'm about to drop some knowledge on you today. Oh, crr. Oh, crr. So what we're going to be making today is a garlic butter for your chest and your feet. And if you don't already know, garlic butter helps with antibacteria uh, issues. It works as an antibiotic. Like, you about to be blessed all up in here, okay? You about to be blessed all up in here. So stay tuned to see how I make this butter, which is super simple. And how I applied it. So stay tuned. I would like to state that I am not a medical professional. And therefore you should consult your doctor first before using any product on your, on your child or on yourself. So please consult your doctor before any use. I do not hold... I will not be held responsible if you refuse medical treatment with your doctor to do something else. Okay, you will need a pair of socks for your baby. You will also need a measuring cup, measuring one cup. You will need some garlic, some gauze if you choose to use it. Scissors to cut the gauze. <laughs> Medical tape to uh, adhere the gauze to your child's body. You will also need some organic coconut oil. Q-tips for application. Okay, let's make our garlic butter paste. You will need organic virgin coconut oil in its solidified form. You want to make sure it's unrefined and you will need some organic garlic cloves. Make sure that garlic oil is in a solidified form. Okay, let's take those 10 to 15 garlic cloves, nicely peeled, placed in a blender. Okay, we're going to blend that up with the one cup of solidified oil. And voila, you will blend until it is in a nice uh, consistency of melted butter. Okay, fun tip. If you would like to have smooth butter without any lumps or bumps, go ahead and use a mesh strainer to get that out of your mixture. You will have some nice ooey gooey melted butter not ooey gooey really <laughs> first let's start off we will be using a q-tip to apply our butter to the bottom of your baby or your feet now when you apply this it's going to smell really bad and you're going to have to apply a whole lot of the mixture to the feet so you want to make sure you pour I'm sorry, you apply enough. Day two, I applied to her feet once again. And this time I decided to go ahead and apply it to her chest. And this is where the gauze comes in. You can use the gauze to wrap, once you apply it to her chest, wrap the gauze around and then use tape to keep it in place. But I decided to just have her wear an old t-shirt. Okay, now that you see how to make this butter, how to apply this butter, you need to know that I've only applied this butter for about a week and a half. And it was only a week and a half because I wasn't consistent. I like skipped a day. Like if we were out, I did not apply it at all because I just didn't want I smell like garlic. You will smell like garlic. It's going to happen. 
you're gonna have to get over it. This is something that you apply when you're when you know you're going to be home, like for an extended amount of time. Like you're gonna be home. So I applied it for a week and a half. If you hit two weeks and you've been doing it consistently, I would say to stop and go consult your doctor because it might not be what you think is happening in their body and you might need to go and get things checked. If it's getting worse, you need to go get a check. You need to go get a check! <laughs> so, just know that also, like I said, it's going to stink. So, you want to stay home. You don't want it. You don't want to be out and about with people. Be like, oh my gosh, she smells like a vampire. <laughs> Anywho. Also, on top of that, you have to apply it more than once. So what I did is applied it maybe every three hours. And that is to knock it out quickly. Like, I feel as though if I had did this for like four days straight, it would have been gone. Me consistently applying it every three hours. So kind of what I did was applied it every time I changed her diaper. Okay, she's one and a half. So that's what I did for her. And she's back there screaming! Sorry, guys. Y'all know I love you. Mom life. Hashtag mom life. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, you're going to smell stinky. Yes. You need to apply it maybe every, every diaper change, every three hours. And then you also need to make sure that you are consistent and that you do not go over two weeks of applying it. If that's the case, you need to consult a doctor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know. Like this video. Tell me that you love it so I can make more of them. Comment if you would like to know some things, um, some some specific things. Go ahead and comment below. And I always comment to you guys. I love you guys. All right. Yeah. <laughs> and subscribe to this page so that you are up to date on the most recent videos. And Honeybee is in the back singing as usual and you can hear my brother flushing the toilet probably so yeah like my page bye <laughs>